Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Eye of the Beholder 3. And Steel Shadow's making lots of noise. I don't think there's anything back down there. Hello! Uh, incidentally, I did uh, uh, that area that we were just in with all those uh, teleporters. There's absolutely no reason to go back there. There's nothing behind us, is there? Nope. I, uh... Let's see. I want to go north. Oh, actually, there we go. Yeah, that's a dead end. All right, if we go south... Hello! I see some items! I want the items! Come here. It's so nice to completely destroy them. Oh boy! Rock. 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 Club, all non-magical. Arrow plus two, that's already identified. And a magic staff. Um, is that some want of fireballs? Where's some food? Do I have any food left? I do. I got these apples. There you go. You can have the apple. I'll identify that later. I wonder why they'd give us all of those things. That seems kind of strange. Alright, the reason I'm going this way is because there really isn't anything of particular note over here. It doesn't advance us. Uh, hello? It doesn't advance the uh, uh, towards the way to the next level. But we do get an item. A dart of the hornet's nest. I wonder if this was actually a one-time use item, like it sort of should be. Um, I have a ring of protection plus one, don't I? It's feather falling. Yeah, you know what? We'll leave the ring of protection plus one somewhere. Hello? All these little niches. Alright, I think I've learned my lesson. Not gonna actually pull that. It actually uh, causes an illusionary wall to appear, I think, right here. So, you know, really, why, why even bother? Alright, so there's nothing else there. There are some items over there, but we're not gonna take those. Uh, let's see... All right, let's get back onto the route. Well, apparently we uh, fought those already, unless I'm... Wasn't there supposed to be a door right there? It says there's supposed to be a door there. Oh well, there is a door there. Hello? So nice of you to come out and play. Uh, another ring of sustenance. Not too bad, but I don't really need it. Uh, wand of flesh to stone. Uh, potion of invisibility and potion of invisibility. Hello? You can just die. Alright, so, stuff that we could drop. Mace plus two, mace plus three. I kind of want to keep those, though. Uh, axe plus two. I suppose I should uh, organize our inventory a little bit. Neutralize poison. Could just eat the apples. There we go. Um, 
dagger plus five, dagger plus two. Anyone else actually hungry? Not really. Short sword plus twos. I could probably get rid of those. And another ring of sustenance. Eh. Ditch the leather armor. I like how the leather armor becomes metal uh, once you toss it away. Alright. Let's continue uh, murdering everything we see. Weapons Laboratory. Entry strictly forbidden. You don't say. Hello, you wanna you wanna come too? You wanna have some fun? There you go. So can I rest here? Nope. Alright. I could have sworn you had a sixth level spell. Oh wait, no. I just did not give you a uh, um just did not have you memorize a uh, true scene. All right, let's come back there. So Can we camp up here? Yes, we can. Good. That's a short sword plus 3 indeed as well. All right. True scene. Actually, you know what? Did I seriously never, uh, whoops? I, uh, apparently for forgot to, uh, have him memorize spells. Whoopsie. Actually, I should probably uh, switch that around a little bit, get some other stuff. There we go. Uh, let's see. How about two resist fires, two resist colds, and an aid? I mean, you're ma ba basically just here to chuck uh, a hammer at things. Uh, go with protection from fire. I suppose magical vestment could be good. Uh, blessed warmth. Free action could be good. And we'll go with True Scene. And yeah, you're uh, not actually going to memorize that. Rocks plus four. Wow. Hmm, this is red. What's the worst that could happen? Oh no! It exploded in our face. Dealt a fair amount of damage, actually. Here, you go ahead and eat that apple. Potion of poison. Yeah, let's uh, let's not take the potions of poison. All right, rocks plus four. Not that I have a uh, a sling. You know what? Screw it. It's uh, it, it, it the idea of taking rocks plus four amuses me, but uh, I can't justify it. I am going to head up here and rest again, though. Have Rex get all those spells. Sorry, I forgot to tell you to memorize spells, Rex. I just kind of assumed that you might actually have some memorized, because, you know, you are a priest adventuring in an area. You would think that you would have some of these things, but no. No, apparently not. Go with true scene. Oops. Alright. So let's go down this way. Hi, Skaladars. You are you are not actually coming to attack me. Ow. Oh god. Run.
Beneath the grate lies a sinister-looking mechanism. Hmm. Ooh, hello. Wait a second, I got turned around here. Ah. Let's press that. Actually, what exactly does that do? Ah. That uh, actually works pretty well. And I'm getting turned around again. There we go. North. And we're uh, on the other side of this, so we can bypass all of these spikes. Uh, looks like we're going to be ignoring those guys, though. Although I suppose we could uh, fight them another way. I wonder if I can camp down here. Nope. Alright, I, I want to get my uh, hit points back, though. Of course, you know, we've just spent, like, two days getting through f 30 or 40 feet of uh, um, tunnel uh, er uh, hallway in this uh, place. But, you know, that's, that's the adventure away. I keep expecting Escape to uh, close out that the spell book. Alright, so the main reason why we want to do this is because, um, that goes that way. There we go. There is this button, and it will turn off all of these things. Are you going to come out? You are not going to come out. So... Let's have some fun. Ah, crap. There we go. Well, that did a lot more damage than I was expecting. All because of that stupid steel shadow. Oh, hey. Bug is down to uh, one hit point. Um, well, you know what? First of all, before we do anything, let's uh, let's get a quick save. I can just um, cast some healing spells. All right, cure critical. While we get uh, DJ Jam and uh, Island Wee. These sound effects are horrible. Sound effects are really, really horrible. <laughs> uh, I did not actually get you to memorize other things, so... Uh, cure critical on yourself. Of course, they're going to be able to attack uh, Bug and uh, Island Wee from behind here, so... Alright, that should be enough. I want the experience points. <laughs> this is fun. Okay. Next up. Nothing's coming down the hall. And 
and I hit the wrong button. Whoops. It's kind of funny that they're just fixed in place. I mean, I can understand how that would cause a problem for uh, traveling down here. Ow. Alright, ready, go! Man, you are, you guys are on the ball here, unlike your friends. Whoops. Screwed that up slightly, but luckily it did not uh, directly cause me a problem. I hate that you can't see how much damage the uh, ranged weapons do. Alright, there we go. Uh, let's actually try camping right here. So, the reason why we don't want to... Uh, well, I mean, I, I guess technically we can press that button and go one way or the other. Uh, it raises spikes elsewhere, and I'm not sure if you can actually pass through the spikes that are raised. Um, so, let's go ahead and get a temp save again. All right, next up, um, let's go take a look around the uh, north area. Let's turn that off. Hello! I suppose I should actually, uh... get our true scene spell cast again. Ha! I see some magic. We got a short sword here. Uh, let's see... What can we swap out? I suppose I can eat another apple. I mean, I've got spells to, uh take care of food, so it's not like it's that big of a deal. Um, so we've got this right here, and uh, if we'd pressed the button so that it retracted and it permanently retracted the spikes in the uh, um, that long corridor, passing over this would cause the spikes to appear and push us forward one. So, this way, you know, they're turned off, and it's safe to pass this way. And we can get around the other ones. So it's not that big of a deal. Uh, doesn't look like there's much else going on here. Alright. Now we're gonna have a little bit of a fun time in this next section, I believe. So that calls for a quick save. Yeah, they, uh, they stole our equipment. Have a fireball. So, now I have to pick all my stuff back up. But I suppose this might be a good, uh, time to, um, maybe end it a little bit early and, uh, reorganize our equipment a little bit. Because... Everything got picked up. That's why they gave you the rocks. That's why they gave you the magic staff. That's why you have the bows. That's why you have the arrows, even though arrows have metal tips. They took all of our metal equipment. So, yeah. It's fun times. Those jerks. And, um, they're basically just all over the place. So, I'm going to need to pick up everything. And there's no way to, uh, you know, uh, avoid that at all. So... It's, it's fun times. Uh, Helm of Underwater Breathing. It's a necklace of magic missiles. I'll have to remember that. I'm not sure. Is this a, a throwing weapon? Oh, it is. Oh, that's right. Okay. That's why I've kept it. All right, well, I'm going to end the episode a little bit early, and when we come back, I'll have picked all of our stuff back up, and we'll be good to go on um, getting further down. 
in this, uh, or up. Are we going up or down? I can't remember. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Oh, I lost my, my ring of, uh, uh, sustenance on Ald. That's so, so sad. Ah, uh, but look at all this stuff. But I'll take the opportunity to uh, reorganize, and I may actually, um, give the bow and arrows to Islandwy. Um, so, yeah. I'll see you in the next episode, everyone.